Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here today with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Illustrator Pictures International with ticker symbol ILUS. They are a penny stock, they are being traded on the OTC market, therefore you cannot get them on Robinhood or Webull. You have to have a broker which supports OTCs such as TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, E-Trade, Interactive Brokers and others. I'll go over their latest news, what happened for past week or two, because it's been about two weeks since I've introduced this company, therefore it should be good to, you know, go back to it and see how, how we're doing, if we invested it, if it was a good call or not, and how's their progress doing. So if you like what you see and like to see more and you are new here, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new upcoming videos, as well as smashing the like button really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. With that being said, let's get into it. So first let's look into the one month chart, we can see I've made a video about it somewhere around here about the 30th of March, so if we check it out we're up nicely 30%, so let me know in the comments below if you bought in you'd, or if you didn't, I think if, if you did you are now in nice position, however there was a very nice move on Friday which moved the stock price massively almost 20%, that's why the stock is up over 30% since, since my call. It had some very good news, so we'll go through it in this video. First we'll go over their announcement of first quarter of 2021 and their progress update and highlights its plans for the second quarter and remainder of the year. So the company has already completed two acquisitions in 2021. As the first quarter of 2021 drew to a close, Elus released an update on its progress during its first full quarter as a publicly traded entity and highlighted its plans for second quarter and the reminder of the year. Elus International has been focused on building a business with a strong foundation which it believes that everybody would be proud to invest in. The company is currently building a strong and loyal shareholder base whilst executing its business plan. There will be short, medium and long term milestones that Alus feels will drive their continued organic growth. Alus recently updated its shareholders in a letter which summarized its first quarter of 2021 progress, addressed some shareholders' questions and highlighted its upcoming plans. The full letter can be found on the ILUS website under the downloads section. So if you're interested in that, definitely head to their section head to their website and check it out there. Having already appointed the largest fire truck manufacturer in India as its distributor for the region, ILUS International further expanded its sales network in first quarter 2021 by appointing the largest distributor of firefighting vehicles and equipment in Saudi Arabia as its distributor. This is quite huge. The company announced that it is also currently looking for a suitable manufacturing facility in Saudi Arabia which will position it to capitalize on the growth potential in the Saudi Arabian market with the development of the new $500 billion mega city called Noam. Alus announced that it has multiple orders in production for its distributor in India where it also has its fire safety products listed on the Indian government's purchasing portal. The company also has orders in production for the United Nations various UK fire brigades, Dubai International Financial Center, an Abu Dhabi hospital and a large shopping mall in the UAE. During a busy first quarter for the sales team, where demonstrations were also conducted in Spain, Sweden, India, UAE, Saudi Arabia and the UK, the company's sales pipeline has grown to over $5 million, of which they hope to convert 50% into orders for delivery during third quarter and fourth quarter of this year. So overall just amazing news for the company, that therefore it makes sense the stock has been going up ever since this could also put the stock in a very good position for short-term to mid-term growth. Alice International announced that it will be releasing a product portfolio awareness campaign over the next few weeks, which will update shareholders on the technology being developed and sold by the company as well as on its current customers and customers it is in discussions with. So this, you'll have to see when the company makes move to be more transparent, to be more loyal to their shareholders and to the public. With the global fire suppression market rapidly growing and expected to be worth over $95 billion by 2025, ILUS has already developed and has been testing technology for commercial kitchen fire suppression systems and is close to finalizing its route to market for this groundbreaking technology. In the USA alone, the market for industrial fire protection systems for cooking already exceeds $2.5 billion. 
in an already very competitive landscape, ILUS key differentiator for its commercial kitchen systems is that they utilize Firebox game-changing low-pressure water mist technology, which is capable of extinguishing multiple classes of fires with water only and eliminates the need for foam or powder systems which damage both property and the environment. The new technology is also far more cost-effective than the current technology available in the market. ILUS is expecting significant uptake for this new technology when it is released. So we can see very very good actually news even for the long term because I didn't know this about the company and it seems they've done really nice acquisition, really nice presentation, really nice moves left and right. So overall it really makes sense. So the stock is growing now, will be probably going and in the long term should be growing even more and it's going to be a very good year for them as a company if they will execute everything as they projected. One of ILO's acquisitions Farbach has already achieved international success with the sale of its revolutionary backpack portable firefighting system. Farbach is now in the final stages of testing its new lightweight carbon fiber second version of the much-awaited backpack with many distributors already arranging demonstrations and testing of the product, which Ilus says will be the first of its kind globally. Any time when any company introduces something new which is like a first of kind, it's very successful, very high demanding. Look at Tesla. Look at Apple, look at Microsoft, you know, look at AMD. All of these companies have something what the others don't in the niche and it's high demand from the customers. As well as their EVs acquisition, the world's first six-wheel electricity utility vehicle, they announced its plans to engage in this USA certification process during the second quarter of 2021, whilst further increasing its demonstration and rollout activity across the Middle East and Asia during the same period. And for again another acquisition doing great news, the other news is about appointing new marketing director to lead ongoing global marketing and communication strategy. It's a very important appointment because marketing director basically leads in what ways and how you are going to be presenting yourself, the company, the products and all that stuff. So it's a very, very important move by the company. So I'll just try to highlight some points about the person whom they hired. Ilus hired or announced that Dijana has joined their team and has no doubts that she will be an immense asset to their growing team. Dijana's focus will be on the implementation of innovative marketing and branding ideas to promote the products in line with the vision of ILUS. She will also lead the public engagement strategy for ILUS across a wide range of platforms where she is aiming to highlight the market success of ILUS products. Dijana will also be updating the look and feel of their existing communication channels whilst creating new channels that will maximize brand awareness for both customers and shareholders. So this is very important person for ILUS and is going to decide how well they are going to do with the public awareness, how people will know about their brand, how they will react to it and all that stuff. So definitely one of the more important people in the company. If we check out ILUS security details, we can see their current market cap is roughly $133 million with about 686 million unrestricted outstanding shares. It's good that they don't have unrestricted shares in billions as other penny stocks used to have, so that's definitely a good sign. As well as they are verified, they are pink current and they have transfer agent verified as well. And last but not least, if we check out stock tweets, we can see there are 6,800 watchers. Two weeks ago when I made video about it, there was I believe 5,800 watchers, so there's 1,000 new watchers on this penny stock therefore it also makes sense it went up because there's more demand more people get to know about this company and more people get into it comp into this company most importantly so we can see there is some kind of momentum so that was my take on illustrated pictures international with ticker symbol i l u s i lose remember penny stocks are highly volatile they're very risky and you definitely have to do your own due diligence i'm not a financial advisor i just share information and knowledge i find online and just add my opinion to it i cannot guarantee to stock will do well but for the past most of my stock picks did well in the long term or even in the short term so if you played it smart you could make money on i believe all of my plays which i called so i'm very satisfied with this result so if people subscribe to the channel followed my videos you know did more due diligence on their side they could make really nice gains i hope i brought you some value if i did and you aren't subscribed definitely feel free to do so it helps me out a lot as well as smashing the like button makes my video to get recommended more to other people let me know down 
down in the comments below if you bought into this company after I made the first video or you just put it into your watch list or you just passed on this one. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.